Hello, Ignite. I am beyond excited to be here tonight to share with you what I've learned from being a waitress. Or, hello, my name is not Heidi. Um, I'm no longer working in the food service industry, but it has been a major part of my life. Um, as we have learned from popular culture, perhaps a lot of the little things we need to learn in life are not learned in our small Midwest liberal arts school or in any office or cubicle job that we work at. And for me, that was the case. For me, it was here. <laughs> Gastov Zergemurlichkeit, a somewhat infamous restaurant in Northeast Minneapolis where I wore that outfit every weekend for six and a half years serving food and drinks. Now, why Gastovs, you may ask? Uh, we have four dining rooms larger than you can see in that picture. We fill the whole restaurant at 5.30, we flip it and do it again at 8.30. All the orders come in at once. It's chaotic, it's drunken. It's like your average restaurant on speed. Because of this, situations, people, problems, they're all amplified. Some FAQs to get out of the way. Yes, I've seen Beer Fest, I used to carry snuff, I was there for Man vs. Food, Definition of Gemotlichkeit, and no, my name is not Heidi Brunhilde Gretchen or any other cute German name you would like to give me. Um, and that finally, I was able to condense these thoughts into what I would call a presentation when a cute stock photo version of an old woman patted me gently on the hand when I told her how to get to the Minneapolis Institute of Arts because I had just finished going to school next door there and said, oh, and now you're working here. This is an experience every server can relate to. It's not outwardly mean and rude, but it's lacking in basic empathy. And when you're working with people day in and day out, that is the core value you need. So I've separated this into three lessons. Lesson one, I like to call don't shoot the messenger. We all know this phrase. It's about not blaming the person who may be delivering you bad news. This happens in a restaurant, a customer service interaction constantly. <laughs> Thanks, I'm very proud of this flow chart. Um, <laughs> at a restaurant or really any job, you become very conscious of the fact that you are part of a process and there are any number of small things that can go wrong within that process. How do you come out of this in the best way you possibly can? I think it's by relying on your team and I don't mean this in a corporate bullshit way and I don't mean this in a cog in a machine kind of way. You have to be able to rely on the people around you and ask them for help. Lesson two. Karma is indeed a bitch. We all seem to want to categorize people. Um, I worked with many servers who did not want to talk to the bussers, who wouldn't tip them out. I always made a point to be kind to them. And guess whose section got cleaned up quickly when someone puked up their meter brat? <laughs> we all seem to want to fall into this uh, very Don Draper-esque system of hierarchy. We classify people, we'll stab them in the back, we'll claim their work as our own, we might even try to get them fired. But as the modern day philosopher Dave Barry once said, a person who is nice to you but rude to the waiter is not a good person. Don't be that person. What goes around comes around. You don't want to date that person. You don't want to work for that person. And lesson three, at the end of the day, no one died. <laughs> I was on the tour of a creative studio and the creative director said, you know, sometimes I have to remind myself, it's just graphic design. There are jobs out there that are life and death where day after day, you, ha you hold someone's life in their hands. Is waitressing one of those jobs? No. If I bring you your food 10 minutes late, are you going to die? No. Now, I'm not saying other jobs are not important or that we shouldn't all try to do our best and meet our deadlines, but I used to refer to this as zen waitressing. I would sometimes, at the height of a rush, say to myself, you know what? I am one person, I have two hands, and I have six tables. If someone gets their food late, they will not die. And now what I'd like to call the lightning round on two common problems people seem to have in restaurants. Here are a list of things that are not okay to call your server, all of which I have been called, except for the star with the racial slurs, which unfortunately every non-white server I know has been, um, and ways to get servers over to your table. None of these ways are considered appropriate. Again, all of these have happened to me, except for the bell, which I just witnessed, but it is very, very true. In conclusion, I would like to dedicate all of this to the amazing men and women that I had the pleasure of working with in the service industry. Uh, the journalist Studs Terkel once interviewed Americans with different jobs across the country, and the waitress he interviewed said this, people imagine a waitress couldn't possibly think or have any other kind of aspiration 
People say to me, you're great. How come you're just a waitress? I have to be a waitress. How else can I learn about people? How else does the world come to me? I can't go to everyone. Everyone wants to eat, everyone has hunger, and I serve them. Thank you. 